Hello and welcome to your tiny island of the week. A morning ritual for your feet. Something that comes out of the body-mind connection that we can listen to our body, to the different body parts and not wait for them to hurt but really get engaged with our body in a way that we can listen to it. And the feet are the first of a series of body wisdom practices I'm going to share in the next couple of weeks because the feet are the ones that carry us through our life everywhere we go to and they are the most neglected part of our body yet they are most faithful to us. And here comes our first practice. So I'll be sharing a couple of small practices that belong to your morning, morning routine. There are four parts on the soles of your feet we should stand on. The four corners of your feet. I also have them here on my foot. And what we want to visualize is this. These four corners of your feet are the inner ball, the outer ball, the inner ankle and the outer ankle. On these four parts we want to stand most of the time. We want to root and anchor through these four parts like the wheels on a car. And if you imagine a car with three wheels, well, not going anywhere, right? So make sure as often as you can that you have you are standing on both feet anchoring through these four corners of your feet and here are the little practices you can even do standing at your sink in the morning you have brushed your teeth give yourself two minutes to practice this you roll from your heels to your toes soft knees have your arms on the side play with this it's not serious it's just something that strengthens your feet brings awareness to your feet, takes you out of your head and you are doing a beautiful self-care practice at the same time. So heels and toes, heels and toes. And shake your feet, let them relax them a little bit. Now, number two is standing on the four corners of your feet, lift the toes up and spread them if you can and then crunch them. Spread them and crunch them. And you can do it also with one foot only if you like. And you might feel the first places in your body where they are stiff, not responding, maybe a little achy. This is of course only for healthy feet. If feet are just tense because of age or anything, because you haven't done anything for them, that's different. Other foot. So, and shake them again. Another beautiful one, maybe you have a pen in your bathroom or you take one there. If you did what we just did, you lift your toes and then you crunch your toes. Take the pen and see if you can stick it through your arch or the other way around. It comes through here like you're putting a ladder in the mailbox. So that gives you an identification of how strong is my arch. Does a pen actually go through or do I need to practice a little more to get, let my pen go through? Then you have it on the floor and you try to lift it up. Again, you try to lift it up a couple of times and that might not work right away. The act of trying is what counts. The moment you crunch your toes around the pen, and you want to lift it up like I do right now is the practice you do to bring flexibility to your feet. Another beautiful one is a tissue. Put the tissue on the floor and use your feet to make a little ball out of it. Crunch it up. Right foot does something, left foot does it and again this is not a serious thing to be annoyed by. This is something you do to bring life to your feet and make your feet your friend. You want to do something for your feet and your feet will do something for you. Once you have it made in a ball, lift it up and if there would be a trash can, you could just whoops, <laughs> throw it into a trash can. You lift it up and throw it away. Come back, stand on your two feet. 
and root through your two feet. There are many more practices that you can do for the feet, but this would round up a few minute morning practice where you start to connect to your feet. If you do the practices and you pay attention, now there's energy in my feet, there is a tingling going on, there's blood circulation going on, and I'm down with my mind's observation at my feet, not thinking up here. I'm at my feet and that's what I invite you to do. Feel down to your feet and come back to visualize these four corners of your feet where you want to root, where you want to anchor yourself. And as a human being, we have this possibility to be upright. We anchor through our feet to have the ability to lift out of our crown. Both points go with each other. So we need our feet to be in our awareness and be as flexible and healthy as possible so they can carry us through our life. Make this practice yours. Practice it every day. And if you are wanting more of that in my Wednesday Whisper blog, the link is in the comments. On Wednesdays, I write about these practices. So you have, besides practicing with me, you have another way of digging into this theme and making the practices that connect you to your roots yours. See you next time. Bye-bye.